This is a part 2 of my Barcelona solo diaries. In this video I share the places I ate, incredible locations or not so incredible locations, what I would recommend, how I spend my days alone and overall just the Barcelona life. Good morning. I mean... I've been up for more than an hour, but I'm about to leave. I feel super late because yesterday at this time I was already lifting heavy in the gym and look, I got a new hoodie yesterday, a crew neck. It's New York. I didn't even uh, watch football, but I bought it because I'm like manifesting going to New York City, manifesting US. And I also got Nirvana t-shirts. I love the band. <laughs> Nirvana in New York. Please comment down below if you like when people show, share their gym things when traveling because I feel like most people watch these travel videos for oh, where to go, how the city looks like, the place, etc. But I personally love when I see also people doing gym things because I'm a gym rat. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that actually finding a good gym in Barcelona was not that easy as you could imagine because most of the gyms look quite old and this one was fancy and more expensive even though it wasn't that best in the way that the weight section was so messy and in one of the locations people don't re rack their weights at all and it was so crowded always but it had all the equipment you could possibly need even though you would need to wait for a long time. You know, just your casual American type of <coughs> fit. <laughs> Not your going out fit. Did I just wake up? You tell me. Before I got to my main attraction of the day, I obviously got sidetracked. So I decided to show you what you can get in Lidl in Spain in Barcelona, vegan options as I'm plant-based person and I'm always really interested what you can get in different countries, plant-based options, substitutions. And I can say that Lidl, from all of the grocery stores I went in Barcelona, was the best option. They literally had so many options and other grocery stores, hmm, they were quite a big mess. So highly recommend if you're a plant-based person or you're you don't eat meat or you're allergic to something, Lidl has a lot of options. And also, what I noticed in Barcelona, plant-based milks are super affordable, super cheap. Like Some of the soy milks were like 1 euro 20 or something, and even the better ones, better ones, still were quite cheap. And then I walked by this one store that, you know, it's like quite crazy from... Me, for me to see so many different fruits. This trip was mainly possible because I finally received the money from Patreon. And if you don't know what Patreon is, it's this place where you can support creators financially. And it would be really nice if you would be able to do that too. I have two links down below. You can buy me a coffee. Again, it's only five euros, uh, dollars. Or Patreon's like ma monthly memberships, monthly support. There's like two. Here, two dollar, five dollar, eight dollar options. It would really mean a lot because this is how I was able to buy the tickets and create the content. So yeah, it would really mean a lot to me. So the actual main attraction of the day was museum, but more like a park, Park Guell. Again, a lot of art architecture from Gaudi. And this was one of the interesting machines I've seen. I had to put my 10 euro my bill in and it gave me the cash back that that's how i bought the tickets even though there was the person who's selling the tickets it was really interesting and i noticed also these things in multiple places too in barcelona and this park is up a hill so when you go to this top viewpoint you can see the city the ticket was 10 euros and honestly i think it's not worth it this is one of the th places, one of the few places, actually the only place where I went and I was not impressed, even though obviously I filmed the beautiful clips. The weather here reminds me of Crete, like one second it's so warm and when you're in shadow it's cold again. 
But now while I'm in sun, it's so earth mm. I feel like I need to take all my clothes off. So yeah, it's, it's definitely not as it shows plus 10. In sun, it feels like plus 17, definitely. So make sure to remember that when you're traveling here. I would say that this park is good for sunsets or sunrise, even though I don't know from what time till open. I don't think sunrise would be an option because you have to get a ticket. So it means it has working hours. But overall, there's just in the day, there are quite many people. And I was on like on a Tuesday in January. So yeah, I mean, in the clips, you can't see the many people because obviously I'm not filming those people. But yeah, sunset only, because as I said, I don't know, there, there, it is beautiful, the sum of the architecture, but that's about it, that's what I can say. And also what I can say is, I would recommend if you're going on the, in the tourist season to buy tickets online, because what if they're sell out and you want to go? Even though I would recommend other places, other recommendations are coming up in the next videos. honest uh, thoughts about walking here after oh, oh my god what the hell I can't get anywhere I don't like how it's made in the way that you can't go back you have to go back then from the start and do another loop like what the hell that's what I don't like they, they don't let you go back where you came from you have to oh when you Oh my god, it's, I can't explain, it's so bad. We, I mean, what I mean is that I go to the main viewing point. I want to turn back and continue my route. But they don't let you delete all the route now. As I went through this random entrance, lead you again to the start where I started walking. And now I have to go and do another loop somewhere and hopefully get up where I want, where I want to go. Okay. Hear me out, I know it sounds like I'm complaining a lot, but it's like the park wasn't managed the best in the way. I didn't really know where to go, like the signs, they were not quite understandable. It's so weird, like three days ago I was in temperature that was minus 22. Now I'm in a jacket boiling. It's crazy, and it shows that it's plus 10. It's not plus 10. It's not plus 10. <laughs> Definitely not plus 10. I got out from the park, now I'm sitting and tired. It's 3 p.m. The park is super overrated, I feel like. It would be a really great view when it's the sunset or sunrise, but you can get better views, easier and free views from any tower in the city center. So I feel like it's overrated. Sat in that chair for like a good 40 minutes editing videos, the clips you're seeing right now and from yesterday also. I don't know what type of videos I will make, I have idea what, the ones you have already seen and something that's coming up, I'm not sure yet. I just really hope these videos will do better because I don't know for some reason my travel vlogs don't do that well. So yeah, support me. I'm really trying to reach the 4,000 watch time hours and just make social media my full-time job as I absolutely love it. After forever, I'm finally seeing mandarin trees, like finally. I was like, where are they? When I was walking from the park, I randomly stumbled across another of Gaudi's architecture artwork piece another casa they're called casa something something uh, basically it's sort of a beautiful house this is the terrace ter terrace from the hotel i hope you can hear me no it's not sunset it's 4 40. in the camera it literally looks like a sunset even though the sunset is in like one hour but it's a really good beautiful place and hmm, i should check i should wow Damn it, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. I, ha I still have to go there with the funicular, aka with the small, I don't know, thingy that goes up. <laughs> yeah, you can see also airplanes there. Here also is another view, and here is also a kind of a gym. The sunrise would be so beautiful here. I mean, 
Well, I'm not interested in this gym, but here's a jump rope, towels, non-existent weighted <laughs> weights of the dumbbells. I hate this thing because it's like a billion things in one and it's pointless, but hmm, at least a treadmill. Yeah, nothing crazy, but the view here is great. And then later on I went to another dinner spot, this one was by the beach so I had to walk for quite a bit, like an hour, and it was Taco Tuesday, but I still ordered a wrap, but I did order tacos, though they were really interesting, like they weren't like crunchy, but they were like kind of in, on, in the pizza, pizza wrap, whatever, they were like guacamole, and then the, either this vegan chicken chicken or just some something, I don't remember. There were three wrap options and as it was taco tuesday you could get like two wrap two tacos for like five that's like this deal and then fries really interesting fries fries good but then they come with mango sauce the mango sauce i don't know maybe it was meant with the wrap itself i'm not sure the wrap was good because give me a wrap any day i will love a wrap the place was, the vibe was okay, it wasn't like the bougie, cool atmosphere, it was fine place, but nothing like fancy or anything where you would want to go on a dinner date, whatever, like nothing romantic, it was quite fast foody place, but then, on when I finished eating that, I wanted to try a cake, and this was in a different place, because there, in this place, it opened later, and I wanted to eat dinner faster. And as I said previously, the Spanish times, they some of the restaurants opened quite late in general, like at 7.30 something. The cake though was incredible, highly recommend. <laughs>